Kathy Yates, um, Curriculum Leader for Science and Maths. I'm going to talk you through the access to higher education course options that we have available here at Andover College. Um, so the Access to Higher Education course is a one year course and the goal of the course is to prepare you for university study. So the aim of doing this year is so that you can gain the skills and the qualification that you need in order to progress onto higher education and to go to university to study a degree that you may already have in mind. Um, so the course is designed specifically in order to give you the skills that you need to be a successful university student. So we will, for those of you that may have been out of education for quite a long period of time, which is very common when it comes to um, those joining us for the access course, one of the units that you'll actually do course studies will teach you the foundation skills such as essay writing and referencing that you need not only to be successful on your access course but also to be successful at university um, level. So even if um, you have been out of education for a while and you're perhaps not sure when it comes to things like academic writing um, or your ability to structure an essay, that kind of thing is what we will look at on this course. So you will receive support um, on how to structure the essays and assignments that you will do as part of the Access to HE course. Um, students on our Access to HE courses have gone on to a whole range um, of different university courses um, and have been very successful in those. So we've had students that have left and gone on to become fully qualified social workers. Um, we've had students that are now midwives, those that have become teachers or have become paramedics um, and have gone on to do paramedic science at university. So really quite an array of different careers that it might be that you're aiming for when you first come to us um, to do the access course. Um, but the pathways that we have really do give you the skills that will enable you to be successful um, going on to higher education in whichever degree course you choose to do, um, but also even taking it further and um, in the skills that we give you on your access to HE course will hopefully also allow you to be successful in your chosen career. Um, so in terms of an overview on the access course, you can do a variety of different pathways. So it really depends on what it is that you're aiming for. So what degree it is that you want to do at university or what career you may have in mind. Um, we have pathways such as the humanities pathway, uh, the nursing and healthcare pathway, the combined science pathway, social science and social work. Some of those pathways are slightly more obvious in terms of what the career goal might be than others, but I will talk through um, which degrees you may have in mind and which pathways might be more appropriate for those. Um, so the environment that we provide at Andover College is extremely supportive. So as um, a student on the Access to HE course, you would have an assigned uh, progress coach who was there to guide you through the course um, and to deal with kind of the pastoral side of things. So any support that you might need when it comes to your studies, you will have a progress coach there available. We also have a fantastic wellbeing team here as well when it comes to the pastoral side of things. Um, we have great IT facilities um, at Andover College and you'll have access to um, a range of study centres that have computers you can use to complete assignments, as well as a range of books that are likely to be relevant to the pathway or the course that you're doing. The lectures that you do on the Access to HE course will be in um, small groups um, and students on all pathways um, will, um, will all be on the same pathway in those groups. So for example, the lessons um, that you do if you're on the nursing pathway would be with other nursing students, which is also quite nice as it means that there's that nice supportive um, atmosphere in that you're all on the course kind of aiming for that goal in terms of the degree that you want to go on and study. Um, so students on um, all of the pathways apart from combined science. So if you choose to do humanities, nursing, um, social science or social work, you are able to study GCSE maths alongside the access course. So if you don't already possess GCSE maths, then you um, can do your access course with GCSE maths alongside. 
However, um, students are expected to already have a level two English qualification in order to come on and do the access course. So you should already have um, either a GCSE English grade C, or it may be that you have done a level two functional skills. So that is the minimum required in order to come on and do the access course. So if you don't have maths, that is fine. We can do that alongside um, the pathway that you choose. However, we do require that you have a level two English qualification for the pathways. Um, if you don't, we do have another option available that I will explain. The reason for uh, requiring that English qualification is just because, of course, there's quite a written element when it comes to the assignments for the course. So we want to make sure that you're set up in the best way possible to achieve on your access course. Um, the combined science course is the only pathway where you can't do GCSE maths alongside. So if you are thinking that you need to or you want to do the combined science access pathway, you would be required to already have your GCSE English um, at a grade C and also a maths qualification as well. So that kind of gives you an overview of the requirements for the course as well as the path we have available. So in terms of a little bit more course information, um, so if we start with the nursing pathway, if you study the nursing pathway, you will do um, subjects such as psychology, uh, biology, nursing studies, as well as the core studies unit that I mentioned earlier that introduces you to um, things like essay writing. Um, within biology, you'll look at things like anatomy and physiology. Um, within psychology, you'll look at aspects such as mental health. And within nursing studies, you'll look at things such as the NHS and the healthcare system um, in the UK. So all um, different modules that will contribute to you having a good understanding, going ahead to be able to study nursing at degree level. The nursing pathway is a um, full time pathway. Um, it's a level three qualification. And as has already been said, you would require a um, level two qualification in functional skills um, English as a minimum in order to um, get on to the access nursing course. Um, you will also have an interview prior to starting the course just to check suitability um, and that the course is right for what you want to go and do and the nursing pathway is one year. Um, for the social science social work pathway, so um, those who choose to do the social science or the social work pathway will do um, those courses together. So if you choose to do social science or social work, you will study together. Um, you will look at psychology units, sociology units, as well as um, social work units as part of the social science social work course um, so it will prepare you for study going on to do a whole range of things um, such as psychology or um, people on the social work social science can go into teaching um, it may be that you want to be a social worker but those um, modules so the psychology the sociology the social work modules will give you a good foundation for whichever degree it is that you're wanting to go on and study um, again our social science and social work pathway is full-time um, it is a level three level of study and requires a minimum of a level two english qualification such as level two functional skills in order to get onto that course um, in a similar way to the nursing pathway, a interview will happen before you start the course and the course is one year. And then finally, for the humanities pathway, um, which also requires a minimum of a level two English qualification to get onto, um, you will study a range of units there. So English, history, psychology, sociology are all examples of subjects you would study as part of humanities. Um, the humanities pathway is also full time, um, is a level three qualification um, and is a year. Um, in a similar way to nursing and social science and social work, you would have an interview before starting the humanities courseway and um, pathway just to check that we were popping you on the right course for you. Um, and as I've already stated, in order to um, do the humanities access pathway, you would need that level two English um, qualification. The other pathway then, the combined science pathway, requires a GCSE maths and English grade C 
on the combined science pathway, you would study uh, psych uh, biology, chemistry and physics modules. So the three core sciences. Um, the combined science pathway is also a full time course at level three and would take a year to complete. In terms of um, careers that you may choose to go on to, so with the um, nursing pathway, a lot of students will do that pathway if they are interested um, in going on to be a nurse, of course, such as adult nursing, mental health nursing. Um, students are also often interested in midwifery that go on the nursing pathway. If you sign up to the social science social work pathway, as I mentioned, it may be that you want to go on to do teaching. Um, it may be that you want to study psychology or sociology at university level, um, or it may be that you are wanting to be a social worker. For those going on to the humanities pathway, um, teaching is quite a common um, goal for the humanities students, as well as studying English or history at university level. For those looking to do the combined science pathway, career goals are often things like paramedic science, um, veterinary medicine, anything kind of medicine related, or of course, if you want to go on and study physics, biology or chemistry at um, higher education at degree level. So that hopefully then gives you some idea of um, what will be expected of you and the kind of things that you might study as part of the access to HE qualification. So it really depends on what um, course it is that you're hoping to go on to study at university level um, or what career you have in mind as to which pathway would be the most appropriate for you. If you do have any questions at all about which pathway it it would be most appropriate based on the degree you want to do or the career that you want to go into, then absolutely contact us so that we can give you some good advice on that. Um, but overall, the goal of the access course is it's an adult course, combination of assignments and exams, and it enables you to go on to a higher education level and to study the degree that it is that you want to do. As I said, any questions about this course, get in touch and we can answer those for you.